Even in the fall, hot car dangers don't go away. In fact, in cooler weather, the temperature inside of a car can rise in a matter of minutes. Newton County deputies arrested Ariel Osby after they say her one-year-old daughter was left in a hot car Tuesday and died of heat exhaustion. She now faces charges of second-degree murder and issuing a false statement. On the day of the toddler's death, temperatures were in the low 80s. We have actually documented um, hot car deaths with temperatures as low as 57 degrees when they're closed there's no place for the heat to go. According to a study by Stanford University, temperatures inside of a car can rise by 40 degrees in an hour with air temperatures in the low 70s. There's just so many factors that go into this whole thing. You know, the direction the car is parked to the sun when the baby had the last bottle. You know, the color of the car, the color of the interior. Are you on cement? Are you on asphalt? Well, you know, all those things play into it. The Newton County toddler is the 28th child to die in a hot car in the U.S. this year. Children, I, I always tell uh, my patients, are not little people. They're children. Their uh, systems are far more vulnerable in, in extreme circumstances such as heat. According to Kids in Car Safety, the majority of hot car deaths are accidents. They encourage parents to take extra steps like keeping a diaper bag in the front seat or placing one of your items by your child. You'd rather be planning birthday parties than funerals. Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.